Hello everyone, welcome back to Nelson and the Magic Cauldron. We were really close though. Figured it out. It's an old book. That guy loves antiques. I have an old book here. Is that valuable? Let me see. Excellent. It seems to be a book with historical value. And what can I get for it? I can give you a gold coin for it. That's great. Nice. Well, could you tell the cook that I would like to have a bowl of soup? Browsing through old books always makes me so hungry. Sure can. All right. Here's a bowl for the soup. All right, thank you. Let's fill that up then. Let's fill up the bowl with the soup. All right. Let's see if that works. Soup gets Maybe it. I should season the soup a little bit first. <laughs> I also noticed fire. Maybe we can lit the candle there on the fire. Now the candle is lit again. Great. Hopefully I did not burn the suit. I have only the one. Okay, you have only the one. There was a little bit of broken English there. Uh, since we got money, I think we're heading back to the store. And... Um, Gotta take a look around to see what's there. Pretty sure that that is our next destination. What was there again? A bowl, a book, a crystal ball, a mortar. A mortar. Something like this is useful for processing ingredients. Hey. I would like to buy the mortar. One gold coin. Got it. Thank you. Enjoy it. Thank you. So can we do that? Nothing happens. Oh, wait. Can we do that? No, I have ground the plant. Haha! -ha, and now we can put that in the soup. I think. Pretty sure that that's... Uh, that's our next thing that we need to do. And then we can give the antique dealer the bowl of soup. And then he will start to vomit. I guess. Maybe the soup should be seasoned a little. I better not try this one. Yeah, don't do that. All right, let's. I would definitely not eat the soup. <laughs> I know you won't. My God. Taste the soup. I don't want to taste the soup. Taste the soup. Okay, I'll taste the soup versus the spoon. Uh uh uh. Uh uh uh. <laughs> The cook gave me a bowl of soup for you. Thank you very much. I will have the soup as soon as you are gone. <laughs> That's the game way of saying, hey, leave and come back. <laughs> I will have it as soon as you're gone. Great. Hey, there's a glass eye there. Here's the glass eye. It must be rolled out when you threw up. How disgusting. I feel a little guilty after all, but I can't take the eye away so easily. Oh, wait a minute, but we got a small wooden ball. Can we do that? Hmm, without pupil, it does not look like an eye. <gasps> but we got ink. Now I have a real wooden eye. <laughs> I could replace the eye. Nice. I'm sure he won't know the difference, hopefully. So now we got a glass eye. And I remember there were eyes in the store let's see if uh, we can use it there yeah those eyes what will happen if we do that this could work the glass eye will hardly stand out among the others at least i hope so so now we got we got a real eye Oh, <laughs> disgusting. An eye aquarium. Something different than boring goldfish. They are not for sale. Too bad. Yeah, but I still got one, so ha ha ha. Um, let's head back to the graveyard because we got a candle there. The candle is now lit. What will happen if we do that? That should bring some light into the darkness. Now the grave lantern is lit again. Okay. This seems suspicious. Can we do that? 
as if I had not already dug enough graves in the last game. Hours later. Now this desecration of graves has got to stop. <laughs> okay. There's only a small vessel in the grave. What is it? A blue potion. The potion of transparency. Surely just a fake. But there's only one way to find out. Better not here. Okay, wait. Transparency, ghost. Let's head back. Oh, let's head back here. The potion of transparency. Surely just a fake. But there's only one way to find out. This really worked. Now. And I don't even have a shadow. Cool. <laughs> now I'm dead. Wait a minute. Maybe I should have gotten a potion that can undo the effect again first. <laughs> no, of course not. Good evening, sir. Hello. Good evening. The party is in the dining room. Please go straight through the door, sir. Okay. Um, is there anything else here that we can do? The dining room? Yeah, it's not upper floor, but you know what? Let's go. No, I'm going to go to the upper floor because I want to check out these paintings. Painting. A boring landscape painting. Painting. The Lord is a young and still alive person. A lot of fishing trophies of a Lord Sausage. A mountain landscape. Mm -hmm. Is that the lady of the castle? Is she already undead in the picture? A lot of fishing trophies of a Lord Sausage. Probably another undead family member. The Lord fishing. The Lord on a fishing trip. Okay, so he likes fishing. There's something. There's a safe behind it. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Wait, what is that? Um. Fish? Wait, fish? There's a scroll in the safe. I better take it. I wonder if this is the right recipe. Do we have a recipe now? A sealed scroll. I wonder what's inside. Okay, can we open it up? Finally, the recipe. I see. A recipe for magic potion. I hope I can win the competition with it. Ingredients. One eye. Check. One meal and vomit. We don't have to vomit. Bone meal, she say. That would be an ingredient for the magic soup. Uh-huh. Now we get bone meal. And an eye. But we just need... Vomit. And we got the horse vomit that we need to buy. All right. So let's to let's go to the party and see uh, what the hell's going on there. Hello. What hand is he trying to hold a drink with it anyway? There's you see that there's a break. <laughs> there's a break in his name. Cool shot. HTML break. How do you actually drink? Oh, we are just pretending. It's just a party. It's also a break. Fancy umbrella. I take this to every party. <laughs> Skeleton break. Lord Sausage. Good evening. A very good evening. Are you the host? Are you the host? Yes, of course. I'm Lord Sausage. Welcome to the annual party of the undead. You have a rather unusual name. But the name has a long tradition. My family has made sausage for many generations. And now they don't? No, we have switched to region products. It's funny times, isn't it? Indeed. What do you actually do when you're not partying? I'm a passionate fisherman and I read quite a lot. Mostly I read while fishing comics. Comics? Yes, my favorite series is Captain Cold's Law vs. Dr. Sausage. Do you know it? Why, of course, I'm a huge fan. I I have that. I'm going to get another drink. Sure, why don't you try the Blood Soul cocktail? No. I kind of want to talk to you. 
I'd rather not talk to him. Okay, I kind of do not want to talk to him, but we got the comic book, so why not hand it over? I have here first edition of Captain Coldslow vs. Dr. Sausage. Fantastic! May I purchase the edition? Of course. Thank you. I hope this bag of gold coins will satisfy you. And we got more money. We got more money. We got the recipe. We got the money. I think... Whew, luckily the potion works only a limited time. Right. Uh, let's head back into town. Because there's one more item. I think the vomit. Let's see if we can buy it. Uh, that there. A glass of horse vomit. And I thought horses couldn't puke. I would like to buy the vomit. It costs a bag of money. And it's already a bag of... Thank you. Enjoy it. Wow. Alright, well, we got all the ingredients. So we're heading back to our airship. Talk to that little witch. And, um... I think that's the end of this chapter. So let's head to that competition. Hi there. Hey. It's good to see you again, Nelson. Thank you. I have the recipe. I have the recipe. Great. Then let me know when you have found all the ingredients. Then we will leave for the competition right away. Okay, I have all the ingredients. I have all the ingredients for the recipe. Then we should leave now for the competition. But before that, we have to make a little stop. I knew it. Why? If you found all the things, we're heading immediately there. Okay, I found all the things. Okay, we're not heading there. Doesn't make any what sense. Are you doing here in this temple complex? We still need the magic soup spoon. Are you serious? According to a legend, the holy soup spoon is hidden here in the temple complex. The holy soup spoon? I know. It's a pretty stupid name. <laughs> what the maybe hell? Maybe the developer was drunk or something. <laughs> Perhaps he was. Yeah, maybe he was. Oh, chapter two, the temple. Look at that. All right, then. So I think that's a good uh, point to actually end this episode and start on from the next one. So thank you very much for watching Nelson and the Magic Cauldron. The journey. And I will see you next time.